Wait. Greetings to the territory holders, the Algonquin, the elders, the war veterans, the ancestors, and invited guests. I am Debbie Sampson of the Schwapich Nation, the Adams Lake Indian Band. This land that is known as Canada is a small part of Turtle Island that is on Mother Earth. This land is beautiful. She is sacred. She is the giver of life. The winged ones, the finned ones, the four-legged, the little creatures that crawl upon the earth, and the two-legged and the root people are dependent on the sacred land, the water and the air. This land provides shelter, food and medicines. We're a family of hunters and gatherers. We love our wild meats, our fish, our berries, and our medicines. This is who we are. This is our way of life. There are so many gifts to mention for that of which the sacred lands have bestowed upon us. The mountains, the water, the air, they are our calm, they are our peace, they are our, our healing and our medicine. Away from them, we become lost. Our hearts harden and our spirits and our ancestors cry. I have a responsibility to speak for those who cannot speak for themselves. The natural life in our generations to come. So I have to speak of the things that are happening to Mother Earth. There once was a time that my relatives of the natural life were plentiful and healthy. Global warming, clear-cut mountains, natural gas, oil wells, mines on the land and on the seas, the contaminants are destroying and poisoning the air, the waters, the land. The effects to the ecosystem are astronomical. Like the people, the winged ones, the fin ones, the four-legged, the little creatures that crawl upon the earth, are, are becoming diseased and crowded out of their territories. Their numbers are low, becoming endangered. They are becoming more and more scarce as their homes are destroyed. We're all interconnected. We are all dependents of the sacred lands. I'm afraid for the generations to come for what befalls the land, the water and the air, the natural life befalls my people, all people. This is a world, this is a government. This is an individual issue and responsibility that we have to the creator, to the sacred lands and the generations to come. If we don't do things differently as a government, as individuals, as people, we will not survive. Listen to the land, our life giver. She is in pain. She cries as she burns from global warming, from fires. She cries as she falls apart from earthquakes, floods, and slides. Listen, love and care for this land. I pray for the land, our life giver for the future. I pray for forgiveness as we have allowed and continue to allow greed, development, and egos to destroy life. I pray that I have an answer when it is my time to stand before the Creator. And he asks with tears in his eyes, you knew, you heard, you saw what was happening. What have you done? to care for, to love, and to protect your mother, the earth, the natural life. What have you done? I pray we all open our eyes, our hearts to the reality, and do our part the best that we can to help the lands to heal for the love of life 
love of Mother Earth, love of the natural life. And with that, I say, Cook's Champ, all my relations. <laughs>